Hey everybody, welcome back to On the Couch. And I didn't lie to you, I promise. We have some representatives from Organ Donor Day here. Hi. We have Cheryl and Isaac. How you guys doing? <laughs> Good. Good. I, I love the shirts, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. They're very stylish. Yeah, you guys, you guys walked in and immediately woke and up. Yeah. So. <laughs> very bright. Definitely eye-catching. All right, guys. So we have you here for a very important cause, and it's Organ Donor Day. And if you could tell us a little bit about what that is. Um, well, basically, about 20 years ago, um, our PRSSA, the Public Relations Student Society of America, our uh, chapter's founder, uh, Professor, Professor Anthony Fulginetti, <laughs> um, had, um, he received an organ transplant. And since he was our founder, um, about two years later, we started and just an order day, organ donor day awareness type campaign just to, um, just for teachers, faculty, um, students, just to let the public know how important it is to donate your organs. So. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, See, I had wow. no idea. I, I didn't know it either, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had him lecture for my intro to PR class. Yeah. He's uh, very good. Yeah. I think it was his yeah. sister, actually. I believe it was a liver, or maybe oh, it was a kidney. Yeah, I think but it was a kidney. Yeah. Uh, oh. He had an organ. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm not sure which one, but he definitely had one. But yes, he's all better now, so yeah. That's good. So, I mean, you're talking, this is this is the 19th annual, as our mm. lovely graphic says behind us here. Oh, and, yay! Uh, so, you're talking almost 20 years now of doing this, and how has it evolved over the years? Either one of you guys can jump <laughs> on. <laughs> well, I mean, it definitely started out small, um, you know, just little events here and there and it's really grown into an all-day mm -hmm. event an extravaganza I mean, <laughs> how long have you <laughs> guys been doing it for each this is our, this first, is our first year semester oh, okay yeah. Yep. yeah so pretty much um, so we're just throwing you into the fire here yeah pretty, yeah pretty basically much. basically <laughs> we're learning as we're going but no it's been a great experience a great learning experience so yeah. we've really enjoyed it so far this year is going to be really big historically we've had like a rally race type of thing mm -hmm. Um, instead, this year we're going to be having the Camden River Sharks. Oh, um, wow. Mm -hmm. wow! We're having they're they're sponsoring a home run wiffle ball derby. Something ball, like it. Something wiffle ball <laughs> home run derby. Balls and hitting <laughs> yeah. the Whatever. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be really cool. It's like five dollars to get ten swings, and then the winner of the tournament goes on, um, and they can participate in like an actual River Sharks game during one of their oh, halftime wow. shows. Yeah. Yep. Something um, stretch, I guess it would be called. How did you pull that off? Where'd you book this? Yeah. One of our uh, one of our members in Praxion has is a an contact. intern. Yeah, is an intern for the River Shark. Oh, so wow. yeah, awesome. so yeah. she brought them on board. <laughs> that so that's a big. Cool. See, that's a big thing this year. We also have the media coming. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have live entertainment. You want to tell them about the music? Oh yeah, the music. Actually, one of uh, the bands, Catch the Mouse, he performed on um, the Alex Lemonade Telethon. We've had two plugs remember. for the telephone. Oh, really? In two guests. Yes. <laughs> I get bonus points today with our team. Anyway, please go ahead. Yeah, so, um, and we heard him. They were amazing. You know, we talked to them after they were done, and they were totally on board. So, um, yeah, so they'll be there. We have a local, um, I believe she's from Marlton, coming, and she's just going to do a solo act. Mm -hmm. So, and she's really good. So, yeah, mm -hmm. we're excited. Um, some of, we're having some speakers too. Uh, Donor Dudes, which is a nonprofit organization. <laughs> they're bringing someone, Gift of Life. Um, they're coming. And actually, they're going to auction, not auction, but I guess do um, a sweepstakes kind of thing for a chance to win um, an iPad. So, I mean. Mm. I don't know if I really wanted to advertise that because it's definitely going to be mine to win. <laughs> oh, well, I was about to ask you, <laughs> but do Nicole and do, I. Do we get a little, like, do we cheat a little bit? Do, are, we, are we allowed to get the extra, you know, We can throw in a few extra entries for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's all, all right, we yeah, need. Getting back on track. Um, <laughs> now, starting with Isaac, now, what is your role specifically in Organ Donor Day? What have you done? Um, so far this year, uh, you know, for Organ Donor Day, I'm the co-chair of promotions. Mm -hmm. So I'm in charge of getting all the promotional materials, contacting vendors. Uh, we have, you know, some last minute hiccups with the, with the uh, flyers, but they came out great as you can see I right there. I Thanks to great. the ad club. Um, great plug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have bumper magnets that, that I had uh, printed and, uh, you know, obviously t-shirts and everything. Um, you know, we're just, we're just in charge of like helping to, uh, get the word out so people come. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Facebook page that I set up. Uh, that way people can invite their friends to the events. Um, and we're also having a contest right now. So if anybody invites friends to the event on the Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, we're giving away five or more free uh, entries into the Wiffle Ball der Derby. So. 
All right. to all your friends. So I'm going to invite you, and then I get a free <laughs> and entry. And I'll invite you, and then I get a free entry. <laughs> Wonderful. Good stuff. We're on this. And Cheryl, what have you been doing? Yes, um, I'm in charge of logistics, so basically just booking everything, making sure the whole day runs smoothly, um, planning when the speakers are going to come on. Um, I mean, kind of boring stuff, but it's all stuff that <laughs> needs to be done. That's a lot of weight on your shoulders. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, I have a great team, yeah. and we've all been working together. So, I mean, you know, promotions has been helping. Um, we have someone else on entertainment. I mean, we've all been helping. When did you guys actually start this process, though? The beginning of the semester. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. so. So you, you guys have just been going strong been at this for a couple yeah. months now. Especially yeah. the past week or so has been crunch time, you know? Yeah, we just spent the whole morning putting posters up all around campus. So we're not even done yet, so we still have... <laughs> I know, I ran into a few of them today. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then they all were there, too, so we, we, we just... They're yes. all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's obviously, great. the event is on Tuesday, April 12th. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it starts at... 9 to 3, right? Yep. Yes. On the student center <laughs> patio. Uh, okay. All right, so you, like you said, you have speakers, you have bands, and how is how's the day going to start? What's going to open everything up? Matt um, is what? Is Matt Hoffman coming? I don't know who that is. <laughs> 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 um, no, I think the day is going to start basically. Um, we're having a speaker. Um, a little bit later, the row and dance team is coming, and they're going to perform. Um, we're off for, uh, around maybe 11. The food's going to come, so they'll have tables set up so people can sit and eat free mm -hmm. food. Um, you just sold everyone watching. I know. I know right? <laughs> yeah, Thank everyone's food. coming now. <laughs> um, you know, just, and then the wiffle ball tournament is all day, so it's going to get the mask guy that'll be here, so he's going to go back and forth, you know, between each one. You even, you even booked the prof. That's yes. very impressive. Yes, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so it should be a good day. Mm hmm. Yeah. Free wow. food, free iPads, free music. I know, right? Who could beat that? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have to like stop talking about the iPad, though. That's fine. <laughs> right, but, yeah. but just, just you know, obviously, this is a very important cause. And if you guys oh. should just really quick, just tell me, you know, why is this important to you and what you hope to accomplish at the end of the day? Um, I just want to get the conversation started because I really think that just even through getting the conversation started, ideas flow and people become aware of what, you know, there's over 100,000 people in New Jersey alone that need some, an organ, you know. Um, one person, one donor can save eight lives. So, you know, it's just really important that the word starts mm -hmm. getting. Yeah, like Cheryl said, um, in New Jersey alone, there's 4,500 people awaiting transplants. So, I mean, the more people know, the more people uh, will register, hopefully, mm -hmm. and the more lives will be saved. That's really our goal. Wow. So, guys, that's, that's great stuff. And, of course, April 12th, this coming Tuesday, Yay. and it's going to start at 9 a.m. It'll be on the Student Center patio, and, of course, Wiffle Ball. I'm pretty excited. But and free iPads. And free iPads. <laughs> but, Nicole, what's coming up next? Dan Whiteoff, the best musician. That's Make right. sure you tune in. <laughs> Dan Whiteoff is coming up next. Don't worry, plenty more on the couch.